Today we're going to do a compression test on the 2005 G35. This uh, particular car has about 100,000 miles on it and it's had a Vortex supercharger so we just want to see how well the compression is holding up and how healthy the engine is. The first thing you need to keep in mind is you want to do a compression check with the engine warm. So you need to run the engine and bring it up to operating temperature and then start dismantling the, um, the intake tubing and the various hoses and then you need to take out the co coil packs and spark plugs from every cylinder and you need to remove the fuse for the fuel pump. To disable the fuel pump we have to gain access to the fuse box which is under the battery cover so as you can see we completely remove the battery cover and the the piece that goes along the bottom of the windshield and you need to get access to the fuse box that's in the back here and the top right fuse it's a 15 amp fuse and there is a diagram I don't know how if you can see it clearly on this or not that says fuel pump you just have to remove that fuse to disable the fuel pump now that we got the fuel pump disabled we went ahead and removed the intake tubing to get access to the coil packs. We've already removed one to show you an example, but you can see the other two coil packs are here and here. Be careful when you are removing the wiring harness that you remember which um, wire goes to which coil pack. Here's just a quick view showing you that all three coil packs have been removed along with their respective plugs. We'd like, we decided to go ahead and keep them in order. I'm not sure how much that matters, but it's better just to put it back together the way it came apart. The passenger side will prove to be a much bigger challenge. You'll have to remove various vacuum hoses and undo certain bolts that hold the wiring harnesses to the motor to gain access to the coil packs. Most of these bolts will be a 10 millimeter and the factory clamps just require a pair of pliers. Here's just a quick view showing you everything apart on this side. We had to remove hose and a few other vacuum hoses located there. And we had to undo that bolt there for the bracket. Here's what a standard compression test gauge looks like. That just screws into the spark plug where the spark plug goes. And then you turn the engine over seven times and to get a reading on your gauge. As you can see, the gauge itself detaches from the tube like a chuck on an air tool. Go ahead and take the gauge off so that it's easier to spin it into the threads of the cylinder. It doesn't have to be super, super tight. There is a rubber seal at the bottom, but just get it kind of wrist tight. Hook the gauge back up, and now you're ready to go ahead and turn the motor over. So we're going to turn the motor over seven times and see what the pressure is. And as you can see, it's 180 after seven revolutions. Go ahead and push this little release valve to let the air out, and then do the next cylinder. <laughs> 